good morning to the day. And next, my goal. The wise poets were right to call the best edges golden. You make me happier than children, friends or any other joy on this earth. You have the power to make a man look wise, noble and brave. And such a wise man can get what he wants, even more than wise. Yes, and I find pleasure in acquiring my wealth through the unconditional methods. And with your money, you're generous enough to give me your dwarf, your homophodite, or your notch. You speak the truth well, Mosca, and you will be rewarded by me. All those who call you a parasite are just jealous. Now, call my dwarf, the eunuch, and all my fools, let them entertain me. Dwarfs. What should I do? Should I continue to make use of my wits to gain my fortune? I have no parent, child, or anyone to give my wealth to. All these people shower me with gifts in hopes that they can partake in my wealth after my death. Fools are the only nation Worth manly and admiration Free from care or sorrow taking Selves and others merry making Even this place gives laughter And he speaks the truth Free from slaughter Who is that? It's Senor Volto. Don't forget, I recognize the style of knocking. Okay, bring me my gold, my first and my nightcap. Tell him my bed is being arranged. Yes, sir. Now, all the hunting birds come to feed on my dead body, but I'm not ready yet. Bring him in, Moscow. I smile thinking how he must be thinking that he will die soon. So that he, and this will be his last gift and so that he can enjoy your wealth. Bring him in, Moscow. Wait, sir, your eyes need the on man. I shall now pretend to cough and act like a sick man. Pardon, sir. This new brother has come to see you. And he has bought an empty plate bought at St. Mark. Bring him near to me. Where is he? I long to touch him. How do you do, sir? I thank you, Senor Volto. Where is my plate? My eyesight is poor. I'm sorry to see you so weak. You are very kind, sir. I wish to Almighty that I could give you as much help as this plate. You are a happy man, sir. You should recognize your good fortune. Am I? I cannot live for long now. You are his heir. Am I? I feel that I will just die. <coughs> Alas, we all must go. But Mosca, are you sure that I'm his heir? Yes, it was confirmed just this morning. It was confirmed just this morning. Oh, I feel so lucky. You always like the profession. The way you can twist words while accepting bribes. When your tongue speaks, your lordship, it means coins. Mosca, I will show you the wheel later. Go away for now and pretend to come here on business. It was excellent, Mosca. Keep still, sir. Corbusier is coming. How is your patron? No improvement still. Mm. That is good. Where is he? Sleeping in his bed. I have brought him medicine that would help him sleep. He does not take medicine from doctors. Please take it away. How is his health? He is very sick and shows symptoms of a dying man. His condition <coughs> makes me feel 20 years younger. What was Voltorde in here? He says that my master was dying, so he came wanting a share of his inheritance. Look here, Moskva. I have brought a bag of shining coins. It will outweigh Voltorde's gift. Indeed, it will. Now I advise you to go and draft a will where you will nominate my master as your sole heir. And this inherit my son? It is just pretendence. He will see the will. And I will tell to my master and he will make you his heir. Does that mean my son will be enriched as well? Yes, if you make haste. I shall go home right away and draft your will for Hong Kong.
I shall burst with laughter. Get back to your bed. I can hear Covina's voice. Why? Is he died? I've even brought the pearl for him. He's good as dead. His memory is fading away and does not recognize anyone. Senor Corvino. He's calling for you. Go to him and give him the pearl. His servant seems to be worse. Tell him I brought him a diamond. All the other people wanted to be the heir to his inheritance. But when he was writing down the will, I sent your name and he agreed as well. Oh, Madame Mosca. My master is almost dead. Why don't you say forget him to death? No, do as you like. I'm going. Yes, take your wishes with you. Do you not trust me? Oh, I do. I'll share everything with you. Yes, except one. What's that, Mosca? Your wife. Is Corvino's wife beautiful? Sir, she is the shining star of Italy, a real wonder. She has skin whiter as snow, swans or lilies. Why did I not know of this before? Alas, I discovered it yesterday. And it's always got it like gold. I shall go to her window in disguise. I know of no gentlemen and worthy patrons. It may seem strange that I, Scott of Mongo, who always saw these wheels in the main market, am now here in the unknown corner of the marketplace. Let me assure you that I am not desperate or willing to sell my goods at a cheaper rate. All those false doctors who use any money and wrap them in worthless pieces of paper are of no use. They cost death too many while getting rich in doing so. My medicines can do anything from indigestion, sickness, cramps, and all other kinds of diseases. I'm in the mood to present you a small amount of this medicine. So toss me your handkerchief with six pens tied to a corner and they will receive a gift. I smile at your generous offer. And besides this oil, I will gift you with something else. A powder that met Venice a goddess. Made her look young always. Clear wrinkles on her skin and made her hair shine. What are you doing here? Could you not put it in the house to advertise your work? Yo, Go away! Go away! Go, go, go! Go away! Oh, I'm unbounded. Where's sir? The beating of my body is nothing because my heart hurts more. Don't worry, sir. You'll get what you desire. Don't you think he recognized us? No. Your disguise was perfect. All right. You can use whatever you wish to get, Celia. Okay, sir. You have to express me by setting yourself to the fools of the cities. That will be my happy motion. Please be patient. A punishment of being caught with word is what you deserve. Please calm down. I didn't know why standing at the window would make you so angry. I rarely go out, except on Sundays, and that very rarely. Well, it will get out there. What were you thinking when you threw down your handkerchief like a nightdress? I'll watch your window and bar you completely from the outside world. Who is there? It is Senior Mosca, sir. Welcome, Mosca. Do you bring me good news? No, instead he has gotten better. Oh! With the help of Scottish oil. May that won't be that. I'll kill him if I could. And many physicians have recommended him treatments to make him completely healthy. But they all suggested that he should be slept with a woman. Alas, I cannot tell. Maybe you should consider a prostitute. Yes, I thought about it too. But our steers are cunning enough, they might rob us. It is wise to let him sleep with a wound. He has to be a simple, innocent woman. Even Bobon's own doctor offered his daughter. What? He offered his daughter? Yes. That will in charge of a king. That person is going to be my wife. Sir, I assure you, you will find favor in Bobon's eyes. Or Mosca, please don't forget to call me. Don't worry. Where are you, my wife, my Celia? Why are you so mean? I was just joking to tell you earlier. I'm not a jealous husband. Oh, are you really not jealous, my love? No, I'm not, nor ever was. I'm fading you. Come kiss me. And get ready, because we're being invited on a face by Balcon.
And I'll prove to you that I'm not a jealous husband. Is it one of you? Or was this one? Hello. I request you to leave me alone. I cannot listen to you anymore. Please explain some more to you. It's not your body, but your usage of pleasure is already in you. All this false allegation is leading to a virtuous man if he's poor. All your allegations are inhuman. I am sorry for being harsh. If I tell you this, my master will be upset, but I hear your father is going to dissuade you. I do not believe you. If you think I'm lying, you can use a sword and hurt me. Me and I will come. Who is it? It is a beautiful lady, sir. Is it Lady Politic? Yes, sir. Curse my fate, she will now torment me. Let her in. I hope she'll leave soon. Thank you, sir. I will trouble you and ask you to please send in one of my mates. Is this girl in the right place? Or this one? Have you not washed your eyes or have you gone blind? A storm is approaching towards me. How do you do? I was troubled by the noise and couldn't sleep. I dreamt that the storm destroyed my house. Believe me, sir, I had the most beautiful dreams if I can still remember it. Curse my fate, she will not torment me with that story. Now the spirit of patience shall help me. Indeed, I must visit you frequently and cure you and make you lusty by making you love. My good angel, save me! God save you, madam. Well, sir. You're most welcome, Mosca. She just can't stop talking. Get rid of her. Master, I brought you a cave. I made this as a gift for a master. It is good. I forgot to tell you that I saw your husband in a very unexpected place. Where? He's in a boat rowing with a prostitute. Go and you will see him. I thank you for your rescue. Be your couch. Corpus is coming with his will. My blood and spirit have returned. I'm alive. You see it in here and you will hear all. That must be a father. Wait again, but still I don't believe you. Why did you come so soon? Did I tell you I'll call you? Yes, but I felt that you might forget. Stay here and I will return. I don't know what to accept for what you have told me. No, I will. Listen to me. Your father said that he will come after half an hour. So why don't you go to the end of the gallery and stay there? Yes, I will. I do not trust this man. Senor Governor has come to see you and he has come to redeem your health in offering his wife's body. Thanks, sweet Mosca. You stead my cause well. Alas, I'm already finished. My concentration is hopeless. Okay. Go to him with your wife. Body said I'll use force. Come do it. It's my command. Will kill me instead. I will consume poison, eat burning coals, do anything. Damn it! I'll drag you by your hair and proclaim you as slut in the street. Why do you angry me? Do what you want. I will die as a martyr. That must be preventing from doing it. Let us go out. You stay here and I'll say no more. Make use of this situation. Where has man's shame gone to? They lower moral slow as long as they prosper. Yes, Govino is too small minded to enjoy the true bliss of love. Why are you surprised when your beauty has cured me? Sir, what are you doing? Come, Celia, let us try the game of love. That will quickly slip away, so why delay our joys? May lightning strike me and scar my beautiful face. You said, Celia, you have found a worthy lover. Use this fortune well. If you have the slightest bit of mercy in you, let me go or kill me. You think I'm cold, frozen, and important, and you will report this to others? Now either submit or I will use force. Oh, God, help me. It's going to be in vain. Stop it, you big. Sit the lady free or you will die. Come, lady. Don't be scared. Let us go have a this evil place. Follow me, roof, and bury me in debris. You have now become my grave. I have been found out as a poor and a disgraceful human. Come here, Mosca. Your head is bleeding. Would you be kind enough to kill me? And I will do the same. Let us die like Romans. Look, who is it? I hear footsteps. They must be here to arrest us. Get back to your bed. You look good there. What now? Oscar. Oh, your son came to the house asking about your whereabouts. He vowed to kill you. He vowed to kill me? Yes, you and then me and my patron. 
I will disinherit him. Here is my will. Thank you. It is a trick for your own benefit. I called Bonario to hear himself being disinherited so that he would injure his father. And in that way, you could stand to inherit two fortunes. But he ran away with Celia after injuring us. Bring Celia's husband to the Senate. This must be prevented. Let me teach you a thing or two about life in Venice. Yes, sir. I'd like to know about everything. Firstly, you should never speak the truth to strangers, and one should always have the proper table manner. Immoral knight, his unfaithfulness is ruining my compulsion. He must be staying at one place, that is why he is so hard to find. Master is over there with a the young gentleman. It must be a procedure to Moscow I was talking about. Where are these young men? This is not a young man. These masculine clothes are just put on by your friends as a disguise. But I see the knight doesn't care about his promise. Dear madam, can you speak directly? I do not get your meaning. What do you all mean? I will get to the point since you angry me more with your shamelessness and the sight of a world hair. And I'm ashamed you have no more dignity than a low class prostitute. Apologies for offending you. It was never my intention. Your husband prays you for your beauty and a friendly soul. Only a part of your nose that faces the sun. It seems to me like that right people. Tolerate it. How about the prostitute you tell me about? You may be mistaken. The lady which I mentioned to you has been caught and I is now about to face the Senate. My judgment is free and I have made a serious mistake. I request you to kindly use your service. The more you use me, the more I should think you are forbidden about the politics. Sir Politic, since you have played a trick on my image yourself, I'll play a trick on your match yourself and see how well you defend yourself. I doubt that Volta will become the call help because of his service to Volta. Do not worry. We are just using him for the time being. Rest assured, I have given Voltor a story to tell about the incident that will save the reputation. And I also have another witness to appear if necessary. Is everyone present? All except Volpon. Please, Your Honor. He is very weak and ill. This is the parasite. I request the court that Volpon should be forced to the case. Bring him here. We would like to see him. Order shall be fulfilled. <laughs> but sir, I assure you that this act will move you to BD rather than anger. Meanwhile, I request the court to hear me out, since the truth will not hurt the case in any way. Speak freely. Then please note that I will now present you with the case which has been informed you in the most disordered form. This lascivious woman, she is not suspected but has been known and called red-handed with Bonario by her husband, Corvino. Father, after hearing all this evil act, and others decided to disinherit his son, for he could not bear the parent. The father, after hearing all this evil act, and others decided to disinherit his son, for he could not bear the grief of a parent. There are many things in this case now. Furthermore, Bonario went to Bobon's house in search of his father, with the intent to murder him. But he could not he went to Bobon's house in search of his father with the intent to murder him. But finding him absent, he decided to kill Bobon instead. Of Celia were an attempt to frame Bobon and Bonario in order to prevent Bobon from receiving his inheritance. Well, provide your evidence. Signor Provino. Bonario and Celia together with my own life. And now I have the position of the love letters. This imposter's mood seems to have changed. When who saw Celia in a gondola with her husband? Let the lady testify. Yes, this is the same woman. I curse you to have the guts to look at my face. And I'm ashamed. I will not take the decorum of the court. You have no lady. The evidences are rather strong. Here's the evidence that will convince you and silence their shameless tongue. Look at this man, the serious rapist, and Bonario, the criminal, the great cheat and leecher. Don't you think don't you think so, sir? Sir, he is physically strong to do such an act. 
or perhaps you think he is faking his sickness. I think you would like to have him tortured. Yes, in order to do so. It would be best to torture him in order to cure his disease. It's such crimes. Then I'm afraid no one is safe here. Take them into custody and let all gentlemen be sent home. I'm afraid we have wronged him by believing so false accusations. I doubt this advocate. You need to worry. Trust me as you trust your soul. I trust you. Only the advocate's fees to be paid. I will pay him. Let it politic. I assure you, you will be made the heir to my master's wealth for your support today. Please. Come back home, and the storm is over. I fear that if I keep on playing sick, I will surely get sick. Get me some wine. The fear is almost gone. It is now dissolved in my blood. Well, was it not managed cleverly? You performed excellently, Mosca. The clear of gold has blended them. Call a dwarf and a eunuch. No, no. Go straight into the street and proclaim that I'm dead. Say that I died due to the grief from the recent scandal. But what if they ask about the body? Say that it has begun to decay. I show you that you are. My intention is just to scare you. If you could pick him on the sheep, then that would be marvelous. Send him inside. I don't know. I will see, sir, if he's inside. I beg your pardon. I had a quarrel with my wife, and I was writing an apology when you came in. Sir, to bring you a word again. The man you met today has reported to the Senate that. We plan to sell beans to clubs. Oh, war is me? Warrants have been time to arrest you and search your room for papers. Listen, they have come. Oh, I'm received. I'm a rich and miserable man. Thank you, sir. I have a device. Simple thing will be. Where is he? So, we must find him. Where is he? Himself. We must find you. Where is he studying? What business is this? Study. What want you? It will be in the publisher to be seen in the police streets. Yes, when the course are in session. Farewell, purpose. Where's my woman? Is she aware of this? I do not know, sir. I'll go back to London and never return back to this place. What are you doing here, Mosca? Turkey carpets, line, or put me down and you go home. Yes, come to travel us. A flood of gold, two more. Oh, Mosca, has this one in our crown? Why are they here? Has his life ended then? Hey, draws of linen. Is Mosca that here? Is she serious? One box of feed the name. Sir, I must hear the parents, sir. Indeed, you shall. But remember, for what you afford in exchange for the inheritance. Go to your poor husband, or I shall expose you for the world to see. Mosca, I ask you to have a word with me. Why do you still stay here? You have been proven a sinner for trying to sell your wife for fortunes. I should keep this diamond and pearl and consider it as a bride. Now go, or I will expose you for the world to see. A slave, a prostitute. Sir, shut your mouth, or I will remove the only thing that remains. You try to dismiss your own son and try to pose him a master. If you ever say this word to anyone, I will expose you for everyone to see that what you are. Petful Mosca, I'm sure you will be loyal to me. What do you mean, sir? Stop that. They have gone. Are you waiting for your gift? Well, it was my master's request that you get now. You already have a gift, that is your education. And if you are needed in illegal matters, I will summon you for a fee. I wish I had a disguise so that I can go and irritate them with questions. Well, I can find you one, sir. Are all the parties here? All are present except the advocate. Here he comes. Bring them to 
words. So that they will hear the punishment given to them. Oh, my most honored father, let your mercy be placed upon me and forgive me, for I have wronged them to suit my greedy needs. The advocate is a rock and speaks two languages. Speak to the point. And so is the case with Moscow. This is a confusing matter. I request you to read these notes. I believe nothing that he has been possessed by the Holy Spirit. I have entered the trap that I have said. I have to go and sing Moscow song. What is happening? Who set you free? Sir, Master Moscow has sent us out of the house and come up to the park, and he has taken over the place. My fears about him may be wrong. Ask him to come straight to the court. There I will play my tricks again. These burdens can never be matched. The case says that Bonario was wrong and Celia was brought under precaution by her husband. It is most true. How gracious is the Lord. Come here, great fathers. This error will endure all doubts. It is still a mystery. I still recover from it. Hold on and act as if you have been possessed by an evil spirit and I will play along. No, he has been possessed by an evil spirit. You yes, assist the devil. Get back to normal. Where am I? Be happy. You are now free of the devil. Showing the right thing to you as necessary. Not guilty then. It is most true. But he is dead. No, he is alive. This is getting complex. Here comes the gentleman, make way for him. Here comes the gentleman, make way for him. I had an almost loss, but I have fixed it. Tell them that I am alive. Who is this troublesome fellow? Most suspected fathers. I came late as I had to fully expose of her master's body. What are you saying? This case is becoming more complex. The whole case is reversed. Will you give me half of your body? Hang me first! Sir, did you not say that Bopon is alive? He told me so. You shall have half of the property. Who is this general fellow? I cannot have a little officer. No! Take this man away. Will you betray me like this? I am Bopon. This is my servant and this is his job. This is a slave of greed and Tobino is the master who is a fool and a couple. This complication is now miraculously resolved. Nothing can be proved the innocent of this two anymore. Set them free. Take away the rocks of the parasite. Do you have anything to say in defense? We beg your mercy. Let them be treated. Parasite, you are the chief agent, so you will be whipped and sent to the galleys for life. I am thankful. Your worthless nature should be punished. And since you are of higher rank, you will be put in chains and your wealth will be donated to the hospitals. This is called the humiliation of the false.